We often question which ones are actually the best military transport airplanes in the U.S. history. Without further ado, here are the top seven transport planes that have served the U.S. Air Force over the years. Number 1. The C-47 Skytrain The C-47 has been dubbed a variety of names, including Goonie Bird, Dakota, a play on Douglas's aircraft company Transport Aircraft, and Spooky. Production of the military version of the popular airliner was begun in 1940, and by the end of World War II, 9,348 had been built. The C-47 performed a lot of combat roles over Europe, including dropping paratroopers behind German lines during the D-Day invasion. The C-47 remained in service throughout the Vietnam War, with an assault variant dubbed Puff the Magic Dragon, due to the rapidity which the aircraft's cannons were fired out the sides. In addition, HC-47s were used by the 9th Special Operations Squadron to conduct psychological warfare operations over South Vietnam and Laos. Number 2. C-119 Flying Boxcar the Fairchild C-119 Flying Boxcar was a World War II-era American military transport aircraft. It was designed to carry freight, soldiers, litter patients, and motorized equipment, as well as drop cargo and troops by parachute. The aircraft could carry 62 combat-equipped troops or 30,000 pounds of cargo. This flying boxcar saw extensive action during the Korean War and was armed with guns that could fire 6,000 rounds per minute. Additionally, this aircraft was used until the early 1960s. Number 3. C-124 Globemaster II The Douglas C-124 Globemaster II, popularly known as Old Shaky, is a heavy-lift freight plane manufactured by Douglas Aircraft Company in Long Beach, California. The C-124 was the primary heavy-lift transport for the United States Air Force, Military Air Transport Service, or MATS, during the 1950s and early 1960s. Until 1974, it served in MATS' then Military Airlift Command and Air Force Reserve and Air National Guard units. Furthermore, this aircraft was the first USAF transport built specifically to carry bulky cargo like tanks, field guns, bulldozers, and trucks. Because the Globemaster II could transport 200 fully outfitted troops, it was frequently deployed in the initial phases of the Vietnam War. The plane was also extensively used in resupply trips for military activities in Antarctica and during humanitarian efforts in the far regions of the world, such as the Congo and Chile. Number 4. C-130 Hercules The Lockheed C-130 Hercules is an American 4-engine turboprop military transport aircraft designed and built originally by Lockheed. This aircraft was originally designed as a troop, medevac, and cargo transport aircraft. Interestingly, the versatility of the C-130 has made it actually end up defined as a workhorse, as it's found uses in a variety of other roles, including as a gunship, the AC-130, for airborne assault, search and rescue, scientific research support, weather reconnaissance, aerial refueling, maritime patrol, and aerial firefighting. It's important to note that the C-130 Hercules is the longest continually produced military aircraft in over 60 years, with the updated Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules currently being produced. Staff Sergeant Tori Patterson, Tiny Air Base, Romania. Number 5. C-141 Starlifter the C-141 was the first jet carrier to transport paratroopers to the Antarctic and the first one to land there. This aircraft is a long-range strategic airlifter, designed for transporting large quantities of either cargo or passengers. This aircraft is powered by an arrangement of four TF-33 turbofan engines, each capable of generating up to 21,000 pounds force of thrust.
Additionally, the Starlifter was built by Lockheed for the United States Air Force and flew from 1963 to 2006, engaging in every contingency and significant conflict during that time, including the Vietnam War and Desert Storm. Number 6. C-5 Galaxy the Lockheed C-5 Galaxy is a large military transport aircraft designed and built by Lockheed, and now maintained and upgraded by its successor, Lockheed Martin. The C-5 Galaxy, as the Air Force's largest and foremost strategic airlifter, could indeed transport more cargo across long distances than any other aircraft. It's known that the C-5 can transport twice as much cargo as any other airlifter, with a payload of six mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, or MRAPs, or up to five helicopters. Number 7. C-17 Globemaster III Coming at you with another Globemaster, the Boeing C-17 Globemaster III is a large military transport aircraft that was developed for the United States Air Force from the 80s to the early 90s by McDonnell Douglas. The C-17 was developed with digital age technologies such as fly-by-wire flight controls, high bypass engines, and composite wings, enabling it perfect flight characteristics for operating on short and unprepared runways. Importantly, since September 11, 2001, the Globemaster III has shown a lot of action, including a record-breaking mission on March 26, 2003 when 15 U.S. Air Force C-17s landed 1,000 paratroopers from the 173rd Airborne Brigade over Bashir, Iraq. So our enthusiastic and knowledgeable subscribers, you can add a comment down below with some other transport planes in the U.S. military history that aren't listed above. That's all for today, and we'll see you next time. Carpathian Fall, C1. Uh, going out and flying mountain pack low levels was a blast, so it's a good time. Off station.